Hi guys and welcome back to another cheat day. So for today's cheat day, I'm going to be doing things quite a bit differently from how I usually do them. If you've watched my cheat days before, you know that typically I follow what Stephanie Buttermore does and I literally just eat whatever I want and then at the end of the day, I, when I'm editing, I count back my calories and kind of estimate how much I ate. But I asked you guys on Instagram to vote between an all savory cheat day or a regular cheat day that I typically do that has sweets in it. And literally it was 50-50 like seven hours later. So it was completely tied, 50% versus 50%. And so I had this idea to do a sweet versus savory cheat day. I asked you guys on YouTube, on the YouTube community page to comment and vote for your favorite sweet and your favorite savory foods. And I took the top four, so what counted as a vote was basically searching for the word and how many times it popped up on the page, and then how many likes that comment got, if that makes sense. So, I'm gonna try to do the top of all the foods that you guys commented, and basically just rate everything that I eat throughout the day, and at the end of the day, take the average and see if sweet or savory won. So, I'm already at my first place for the day. I literally drove all the way out to Issaquah, which is funny, if you watched my cinnamon roll video, you'll know the Issaquah Cafe literally all the way over there, which is where I film my cinnamon roll video. But I'm not here for cinnamon rolls, I'm here for donuts. So, I've never been to Legendary Donuts before. So, for people who are voting for sweet foods, donuts came in third with 699 votes. So. I'm going to go to Legendary Donuts right now and try some out because I'm also not going to try any foods or eat any foods that I've ever had before just because I would know how I would rate it. And so for today, I'm just going to eat all foods that I have never tried before, rate them, and then see if sweet or savory wins. So let's go get some donuts. Make love at the same time. Would you break up just because I told you what I did last night? Sometimes you said you're sorry I'm still not sure if you told lies But I don't care, it's all forgotten now We're holy when we touch anything. Okay, so I am sitting in my car's passenger seat because I feel like there's more room to kind of show you guys the donuts and stuff. I got two different boxes because I got six donuts and I guess that's how they box them up. So I'm just going to go through one box at a time. I'm so excited. I kind of forget the names of the donuts and what they are because there were so many in there. Oh my god, I'm excited. Okay, first one. Oh my gosh. I think this is their um salted caramel one. And has like a really fluffy dough. Mm. So I'm going to not finish that one yet because I don't want to get too sick for the rest of the donuts. But that one's an eight. Next, they have the croissant donuts or whatever, croissant dough. I'm so excited for this one. I think this is filled, kind of. She said this was Bavarian cream. It's not really filled, but like the inside of the dough is like really moist, I guess you could say. Mmm. How have I not been to this place before? Oh 
That one looks like a nine. And I finished all of it, even though I didn't mean to. <laughs> Next one is this huge one, which has peanuts on it and chocolate. Oh yeah. I think it's actually caramel on top, maybe. Yeah, I think it's caramel. Oh. I think this was a Snickers one. Mm-hmm. This was Snickers because it has the caramel, the chocolate, and the peanuts. That one is like a seven and a half. It's still really good, but the other two were like really good. So I'm done with my first box. Now I'm going to go to my second one. Ooh, I'm excited about these two. Okay, this one I know is vanilla with sprinkles. And it just looked really cute and pink, so. I don't know if you can see what kind of sprinkles it is, but it's not like the uh, kind that I'm used to. They're more like crystals. This is really good too though. This is like a uh, it's like a seven. It's still just plain. I'm really excited for this one because they said it's filled with peanut butter and jelly and it's like a bear claw. Which, it just looks like really good, so. Mm, no filling yet. I think they said it was filled with peanut butter and jelly. Mmm. It is. Oh my god, that's so good. Oh my gosh, that is everything I've ever wanted out of a PB&J because I wish PB&Js were more sweet, if that makes sense. Like, the fact that there's a sweet dough. Mmm. I think the jam is... Tape? The only thing is, I wish they would have put more jam in it. That's an eight and a half. They're really good. Last but not least of the donuts. I actually got one cake donut, even though I usually don't get cake, because she said this was their most popular, their best seller. And it's called Sex Something. I think it's supposed to be caramel and chocolate, and she said that it was her favorite, too, so... We'll see. I'm not expecting much, just because I typically don't like cake donuts, but... Mm. I just like after having the cake donuts at Sidecar in Santa Monica I just don't think that any cake donut will ever compare it's not horrible but I just like yeast a lot better so It's like a five. Once again, not bad, but just not 
amazing. So I think my favorite was the Bavarian cream one, which was just like the perfect amount of lightness. So if you're familiar with Seattle, you'll know that where I live in Seattle is actually like 30 minutes away from where I am now. So while I'm out here, I want to try a cinnamon roll that I couldn't get on my cinnamon roll best in Seattle video. By the time we went to go get the cinnamon roll, they were already sold out. So I want to do cinnamon rolls because it came in fourth with 635 votes. So there's obviously a lot of people that like cinnamon rolls like me. Like literally, you guys, all the top foods are all foods that I love. So thank you. <laughs> so while I'm out here, I'm just going to go drive to the place to get the cinnamon roll because it's like five minutes away from here. And then after that, I'm going to start eating some savory stuff because we got to even out the voting. But I'm excited to see where the day takes me. A few inches later. So I'm actually kind of nervous that they're going to be sold out again. I'm going to try to call them really fast. Oh my god. <laughs> the restaurant's called Little John. But I Google Little John and Little John literally pops up. Little John's restaurant. Thank you for calling. Hi. I was curious if you guys have any cinnamon rolls left. Uh, no. I think we sold out. Okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so Lil Jon has sold out of cinnamon rolls, so we're going to have to get a cinnamon roll elsewhere. So I'm going to refer to Yelp really fast and hopefully find a place. Okay, so I just found this place nearby called 12th Ave Cafe. And on their menu, they say they have cinnamon rolls. I couldn't find any pictures of them on Yelp. So I'm going to try to call and see if they actually have them. Hi, I was curious if you guys sell cinnamon rolls. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on my way to the 12th Ave Cafe. Let's see how long it's gonna take to get there from here. It's literally a four minute drive. Okay. Okay, so I'm back in my passenger seat and I got the cinnamon roll and I'm actually going to insert pictures on the screen of the Lil John cinnamon roll and hopefully you'll see why exactly I want to try it so bad. But this one doesn't look as big or as insane, but it could still be good because one of my favorite cinnamon rolls that I had when I filmed that video was the Beth's Cafe one. And it literally came wrapped in plastic wrap and I had to warm it up at home. So, this might still be amazing. We'll see. Ooh, it smells really cinnamony, which is good. Okay. I'm excited. That's still really good. I don't think I've ever met a cinnamon roll that I haven't liked. So, I'm not surprising that I don't hate it, but... I think it has raisins in here, actually. Which I'm not a huge fan of. I think you can kind of see it in there. See the raisin? As far as my ratings of cinnamon rolls go, this is probably like a six. And I know six sounds bad, but it's just average. So I just ate the entire center of the roll, which is always my favorite because it has the most frosting usually. Um, but now I am done for the breakfast portion, I guess you could say, of the video. So it's still the morning. I'm not even full. I'm going to go to the gym now though, but then after the gym, 
I'm gonna get something savory. Two things I think that are savory, and yeah, I'm excited for that too. home and eat it I think because that way I can set up and not be sitting in my passenger seat in my car so I will just see you guys once I get the food. Hi guys so I just got home and I think I found a decent spot with decent lighting to film. I think I forgot to mention that Mexican was actually first of the savory food that you guys wanted me to eat. It had 682 votes for that and then kind of in the same category was nachos which had 336 votes and then kind of in the same realm as that enchiladas had 271 votes. So what I got is nachos and an enchilada. And I also don't really know what I ordered technically. One of the things that I got on the nachos was called sorrizo con papas. And I feel like that sorrizo with potatoes. And then in the enchiladas, I got something called poblano. I hate talking on the phone. I don't know if anyone else hates talking on the phone, but like literally when I order stuff on the phone, I just want to get off the phone as quick as possible. Yep, sounds good. Okay, bye. So all I know is that what I have is vegetarian and I hope it's good. So I'm going to start off with the nachos because they look freaking amazing. That's what they look like. Okay, I'm really excited. I haven't had nachos in forever. This sounds kind of weird, but does anyone else like when the nachos of their, like the chip nachos are kind of like soggy almost because they have so much stuff on them. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. <laughs> Look at that. There's some guacamole over here too. Wow. That guacamole is so good. This is a nine. I love when places don't skimp on nachos. Like there's nothing more annoying to me than eating nachos and then getting to the bottom of the nachos and it's just plain chips. Like,
Okay, one more bite of the nachos. My hands are like disgusting. So next, I'm gonna try the enchiladas. This is what they look like. So they had an option to get an Xmas style, which was green and red sauce, which is what I got. And I didn't even understand what the Xmas style meant. I was like, what the heck, Xmas style? But now I get it, because it's green and red. This is good too. I love, 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 love cheese and tortillas together. That's not as good as the nachos. I would say it's like a seven and a half probably. And then they also gave me rice and beans, which I don't think I ordered, but maybe they just give it to you for free. Mm. Rice and beans also reminds me of my childhood because I used to literally, when I would get Mexican food, only get rice and beans and wrap them up in the little like tortillas they had in the little, like you know Mexican places have those little like holders for tortillas. That's what I would put my rice and beans in. Mm. I'm gonna have a couple more nachos because, or a couple more bites of the nachos because they were my favorite. Okay, I'm just gonna have one more bite because I'm getting kind of full, but look at the cheese on that. Mm. Okay, so the nachos were a nine and then the enchiladas were a seven and a half. So I forget, I don't even know what's winning at this point, but I still have a couple more things I think I, think I wanna try today. It's only like 2.30 right now, so I have quite a few more hours left in the day. I'm pretty full right now, so I'm gonna take a shower, lay down for a bit, and then I will see you guys next time that I eat something. I think I'm gonna have to go to the store because I wanna make something that you guys have wanted me to eat. So I think I'm gonna go to the store and get ingredients for that and then I will just see you guys when I eat it. Hey guys, so I literally just made the easiest cheese fries that I think I've ever made in my entire life. A lot of you guys wanted me to try cheese fries, but I couldn't have the regular kind that I've had before because like I said, I can't try anything today that I've already tried just because then I would already know what I was gonna rate it. So I made some Alfredo fries because a lot of you guys also wanted to see me eat something alfredo based like alfredo pasta or something like that i am super excited to try them so shout out to you guys for voting for cheese fries i think it was third with like almost 500 votes so like i said shout out to you guys for voting for cheese fries 
let's just dig in. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So here's a close-up of what it looks like. So cheesy. This is a 10. Holy crap. Mm. out of 10. Sometimes you just gotta make stuff yourself. I don't know why Alfredo fries aren't a bigger thing, if that makes sense. Sorry if I keep moving this thing. Um, I try to do like a really quick makeshift stand for my food and it's not quite working. Who cares when you have cheese fries in front of you? I think this is gonna be my last bite because I still have two more things I wanna eat today. And so I don't wanna get too full, but this is so bomb. Mm. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna get postmated, I think, because I don't feel like driving anywhere right now. So I think I'm gonna get it postmated and I'll probably wait a couple hours. So I will just see you guys in like two hours or so. Oh no, I'm going to go sideways. Oh, did you feed them? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't worry about it. Thank you. After the reason why it took so long is I could call the head. I'm like, yeah, I'll be a half hour. It's like, for cheesecake? Hey guys, so I fell asleep for a little bit. So I had the cheese fries at like 5.30 probably, maybe more like 6, and now it's like 8.30, so that's kind of why I have this voice right now. It's because I kind of just woke up. So I also got Postmates though. I got cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory because cheesecake was the number one dessert you guys wanted. I think I had like over 900 votes, like 904 votes, and cheese sticks was second, or mozzarella sticks, not cheese sticks. Mozzarella sticks was second for what you guys wanted to see meat for savory with like 400 or 500 votes. So I ordered both from the Cheesecake Factory and I just warmed these up in the oven so that they should be warm. And I know that I said that I wasn't going to try any food that I've had before. I've done a video trying all the flavors at the Cheesecake Factory, but I haven't had these two flavors because this is the very cherry Ghirardelli one or very chocolate, chocolate cherry Ghirardelli, something like that. And this is new, and then this is the Cinnabon Swirl Cheesecake, and this is also new. So I haven't had either of these flavors before, so I don't know what to expect. And then I haven't had their mozzarella sticks before either. I'm gonna start with the mozzarella stick before they get cold. That's what it looks like. <gasps> I'm excited!
Mm. That is so good. I don't know what is supposed to be different about these from regular mozzarella sticks, but they just called them fried cheese, I think, on the Cheesecake Factory menu. This is like a eight and a half. I was thinking about it too, and I don't know if I've ever eaten mozzarella sticks on this channel before. I don't think I have. Okay, now I'm gonna try the cheesecake. Mm. I love their whipped cream. Okay, I don't know how I feel about cherry and chocolate, but we'll see. Mm. So I don't know if you can see the dark part there. But that's like what's kind of throwing me off. Because it's kind of like a jelly almost. I like the back part of it though. It's cute. So I would say this is like a six and a half. I kind of had a feeling I wasn't going to like the strong cherry flavor. I feel like if I didn't have that have that jelly stuff in the middle, it'd be a lot better because it'd be like a lot lighter. And then next I'm going to try the Cinnabon one, which I'm so excited for because I love Cinnabon or cinnamon rolls, cinnamon anything. Yum. What it looks like. It has like a cake in the middle. Like a, it's not all cheesecake. Mmm. This is like a nine out of 10. It's really good. I'm actually getting pretty full. I'm just gonna have one more mozzarella stick. I don't know, all of a sudden, like I felt fine after I woke up and all of a sudden I'm just getting hit by fullness. So I realized that because I haven't been paying attention to what I've been writing stuff all day that I literally have no idea what category won, but I will pop up the average scores, savory here, sweet here, so you guys can see which one won. It's a mystery to me right now too. So I think my camera just ran out of space while I was filming, so I quickly just deleted one clip that I didn't need. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this style of cheat day where I eat an equal amount of both sweet and savory stuff. Let me know if you did. I'm really full, so I'm just gonna go lay down and probably pass out. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will just see you in my next video.